What's up, guys? I hope you're doing good. I am not. <sighs> the reason I haven't been posting because family issues. That's why I'm not good. And, you know, I'm stupid as fuck. So, I've been stressing about little things about my channel. Like, should I take the time to make an account to make money? I decided no. I'm not going to use this account for money. I don't need money. And, you know, if you see an ad, you skip it. I don't get money from it. You know? Channel's not monetized at all. Don't even have an account set up for monetization. If you ever get monetized, I am suing YouTube for uh, using, you know, my content, and I don't get money for it. Big brain plays, you know. Um, <laughs> I probably can't do that. But, um, I, I won't be doing, you know, a Naruto one, okay? want you guys to decide in the comments. I'm not gonna continue seri those series because I don't know what the hell's happening in them. I can't even read my own typing on my own computer. So yeah, we'll be gonna, gonna do a My Hero Academia one. All right, all right. So how this is gonna work, Naruto, I'm um, Not even a minute and 30 seconds in the video, and already fucked up. Um, Deku, or Izuku, um, is gonna have a quirk, you know. I oh, know, I can't, hold on, I'll have to pause to show you. Tuck. This will be what it is, but with a few of my, um, additions, cause like, I don't want... A week MC. That's restricted this much. Because I'll forget that I restricted him that much. But um, basically, it, it's a passive quirk. So yeah, I also got more of these. That just scare me. This one's interesting. Really interesting. This one's neat. This is Dio. Oh, <laughs> This can also be neat. I may be doing one of those at a different time, different place, you know. Reference, you know, if you get it, you get it. Um, so, how this is gonna work is, since it's, you know, My Hero Academia, we don't have ranks of fucking civilian, well, we do have ranks of, we don't have fucking tuning, Joan Kage level crap. We don't have that. We don't have chakra shit, you know. We do have a control, you know, quirk control. Oh, uh, we have endurance, we have IQ, we have speed, strength. The reason I didn't understand what was going in my story, because I didn't know their fucking age. So I added age, you know. By the way, I suck a lot of uh, dick when it comes to, you know, My Hero Academia, because I barely know the story. I know season one. Barely. Ooh. And another reason I wasn't, you know, uploading videos is because I somehow had a girlfriend. My 240-pound 5'7 ass got a girlfriend. I don't know how. I might actually be less late. Wait, I might... I might... Yeah. <laughs> um... The Gorgas passive, it's paranormal, as you saw, uh, 10 feet range still. Uh, it can be extended, but if the extension is overused, the user starts coughing badly. You know, because I think this looks neat, you know, in my uh, childish mind, you know. I started high school. I mean, yeah, that's nice. Do I like it? I mean, it's the first week. There's nothing to do. I'm bored. Probably won't be. Um... So let's start. So, story starts with um, Deku being born. No, Deku does not start with his quirk. He doesn't have his quirk yet, because, you know, that'd be scary. I don't want to do that to his mother. His, you know, mother. I actually like his mom. She's nice. I think. <laughs> so now we're to. 
if there's not another video in a year with this, it's because I cringed so hard at this, I killed myself. Um, <laughs> Deku is born. Um, so we start, no, we're going to just skip till kindergarten, which is like, seems to be like three years old, I believe. Because don't their quirks start at like four to six? I can't remember. So we go to kindergarten at fucking three, you know. I was shitting my pants and breaking my head open at three, but you know. <sighs> no, he's three now, so I gotta add that. Deku's quirk, you know, does not manifest yet. Cause that's a little early. Ugh. I, w I don't want to make an OP main character here. Deku starts, you know, kindergarten. You know, he go in there, you know, introduces himself. You know, he's Zuka Midoriya. Father left him faster than mine. Um, no, that's not true. Mine left faster. I can prove it. It's been seven years. Please come back. <laughs> At least in person. My brother talks to him like all the fucking time you know everything's doing good you know he he uh izuku does live with not with sorry in the same apartment no, no they don't have an apartment complex why because i don't like apartments you know I broke my head open in one. It's trauma. I'm kidding. No, I don't care. I don't care about trauma. Um, no, he lives in a nice house. You know, his room is like ten by ten. No, that's too big. Mine's a little twelve by twelve. Let's go a seven by eight. A seven by eight square feet. You know, seven by eight. His mom's room is. Let's go with ten by ten. You know, has a hallway. Has a bathroom, you know, a decent bathroom. Like it has, it has a shower. It's not one of the low showers. It's like actual top showers, um, bath showers, whatever you want. Hell, fuck me! I dropped my phone. Um, it's it's a decent house, you know. Rent's expensive as hell because it's. Co I'm kidding. COVID hasn't started. COVID, COVID's long gone because it's like. Isn't it like the year 2100 or something in the anime? I can't remember. It's definitely not the 2020s, I'll tell you that right now. Um, Because All Might's like 60. Quirk started like 80 years ago. Or No, All Might's 40, I think. Jesus Christ. Um... <laughs> Home's really nice. Deku is kind of a shut-in, you know, a little bit. To fair, he's three. I'm pretty sure you all were. If you are a social butterfly at three, congratulations. I hate you. Um, not really. I do and I don't ignore. But, you know, Deku's a genius, you know. He's fucking genius. I was like... Yeah, he, he's already reading, you know, he walked out like fucking a, a year old. He's doing great. He lives by uh, Bakugo, you know, and his mother. <clears throat> Some great content I could make. Um, you know, there's great content out of here. Um, <laughs> you know... Bakugo was his actually childhood friend, you know, they actually hanged out a lot. Bakugo being the more, you know, more open kind and stuff. Like, you know, because it's Bakugo. Bakugo doesn't swear because, like, beating a three-year-old for swearing is illegal. Unless it's Japan, I believe. <laughs> Japan's scary. Um, I want to last three fucking nights. So, you know, we're going to go back to the kindergarten, you know. It's, you know, Deku does sit with Kachan and Kachan, where the fuck his name is. Boom, boom, boy. In it. Oh, uh, with him and shit. And, you know, their friendship is actually really strong. You know, they're like basically best friends. 
Now I'm, I fucking fucked up harder than when I fucked my ass. Fucking hell. Ugh. I'm gonna get a lot of questions in this video, I bet it. Fucking my, my, cause everyone knows I have a YouTube channel now. Anyways, I'm, I'm gonna focus on the story, okay? Ten minutes in, the fuckers three. That's a lot faster than my other ones, like, you know, the first video of Infant Jogger. <gasps> yeah, there's fucking four, you know, it's been five fucking hours, he's still four. Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> Deku has a great day at kindergarten, actually. I mean, you know, he's a genius, basically. I mean, you know, I'm gonna mention his IQ here. It's like, you know, as a child, I believe your IQ can get stronger, you know? If it can't, well, fuck you. It's, 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 it's my shit, you know? <laughs> it's 130, that's 40. 30 for now, okay? It will increase, you know? Fucking motherfucker develop recreates gravity. <laughs> That's why everyone hates Newton. We could have flied. I'm kidding. You know, since he does have the quirk factor, and they, he would be actually slightly stronger than a child. No, he's average children strength, you know. No, everything about him is basically average for a child. It doesn't work out. I mean, you kind of don't need to as a child. But, you know, we're going to skip a couple years from now. Let's skip two. He's five. Bakugo is five, you know. Great time for Bakugo to get his quirk. Um, you know, it doesn't look that fucking impressive. My own fucking farts have more explosion than those fucking sparks. Yeah, he was fucking somehow as a genius. I don't fucking know how. I get shit louder than those fucking so-called explosions. Um, <laughs> you know, we're gonna skip past that. You know, kindergarten is great. You know, Bakugo getting a massive ego boost. Being fucking praised all the time. Deku's like, oh, I hope I can have a quirk as cool as yours. No, you don't, motherfucker. Well, you're gonna get a better one, but it's not that better. Of course, Bakugo, you know, on his high of fucking... You know, his ego boost. High off his ego. You better not come to my fucking room. Um... So... You know, Bakugo says, Oh, no, you're not gonna get a quirk as cool as mine. Mine's the best, you know. <laughs> so we're gonna skip that whole fiasco bullshit. Um, Deku goes to the quirk doctor, do doctor, and you know, quirk doctor is like, You do have a quirk. It's quite interesting. All we know it's passive appears to be. And that, uh, you know, it's type of a mental quirk. We don't know too much about it because, like, it's kind of new. Mental quirks are hard to identify. But we can say one thing it's not mind control. You'll just have to wait. You gotta couple like a year left you might be a late bloomer you know age five is when it like when quirks really start to manifest who knows you can get it a couple minutes from now who knows and Deku you know wanting to be a hero is really happy about this you know he goes home happy he watches that all my video that is weird as fuck it's better than my search history we all know that 14, right? Yeah. He has some 14. <sighs> I forget my own fucking age. So, we're gonna, you know, skip past. Next day, 
Deku tells everyone that he's getting a quirk, whatever. You know, he might... Doctor doesn't know what it's about, but all he knows is it's like a mental quirk. Now, as they are still fucking... Wait, no, they're first graders. Christ, I forgot how school works. Uh, everyone knows what mental is. They just don't know the dangers of mental quirks and shit. You know... Everyone's like, oh, that's so neat. And then Baku comes up, oh, yeah, mine's so much better than yours. Mine's a physical one. You can only affect the mental side of people. It's like, in my personal opinion, I'd rather affect the mental than physical side, you know. <laughs> Fix trauma? Make trauma. You know, shit like that. Hold on. I'm gonna do that for now. You know, we're gonna skip five months. Yeah. No, six months. I forgot how months work. Oh, I, yeah, I'm going back to school. Fucking two days from now, alright? Yeah. So, Izuku's quirk activates, you know. He also, you know, is a bit different because like no theories and shit about the quirk affecting their mind and shit I mean, it makes sense anyways Deku becomes more of a shut-in as time to have passed throughout the days but still being best friends with um Bakugo Bakugo not saying anything about his quirk, because he knows he'll get one. I mean, they're, like, really good friends, you know? And at, sometimes during those months, you know, his dad left him for, uh, because I want them to bond more. No, this will not be a Deku X fucking Ka-chan. Scares me more than fucking... It's just scares me more, mate, okay, okay. Um, you know, that's what happened during six months. You know, Deku wakes up. He doesn't know anything different, but he starts walking. You know, his mom's making breakfast and everything. And he says hi to his mom. His mom says hi, you know. Hi, Deku. Hi. I thought my grandma was calling me because I'll with my grandma now. Piss me off. Um... Deku, he says, hi, Izuku, how you doing? This morning, did you get enough sleep? And he's like, yeah, 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 I'm doing good, I'm doing great. So Deku, you know, sits down. His mom brings food. Their table is definitely not ten feet. But, and Izuku, you know, being a fucking child prodigy, fucking IQ is now 150. I don't know. When the last time he changed his IQ because I'm stupid. But it's 150, okay? It should be 150 at 5, okay? I just realized I'm dumb as fuck. So it's 150, you know, pretty fucking good. Deku notices the change in his mother. And he's like, Mom, what's wrong? And his mom's like, I don't know. I feel different. More paranoid. You know, I was like, just could be an off day for you, mom. So he just, so was like, so his mom was like, yeah. Zuku walks to, no, sorry. Yeah, Zuku walks to school. Because, like, the school's not far away. He's five. The fuck is not going to get kidnapped at all. Especially with his quirk now. So, yeah, he goes to school. He notices people on the sidewalk getting more Tense. Not everyone, because, like, you'd have to be a fucking detective. But some people, like, physically, like, freeze and kind of clench their fists or whatever. People looking behind them more and stuff. This does leave a lasting effect. So, like, f right now, since it just activated, ten minutes. Like, ten minutes is long enough to not notice them anymore. So, we'll keep, so we'll keep just walking. You know, he lives at school, he greets the, um, you know, one of the teachers that are at the door, shakes hands and stuff, 
doesn't make a difference, you know, just started, it eventually will, um, you know, day's going good, just noticing everyone's, like, really tensed around him, whenever, so, you kind of, you know, after the day ends, you know, Kachan not really affected, just because of his personality, really, him being on too much of an ego boost, that is an outside, if they're too stupid, so it won't work on Nomu too much, you know, you know, so it continues on throughout the day, he goes home, he's like, I think, he goes, his mom is like, I think my quirk awakened this morning, and she's like, that would make sense, but why do you think so, he's like, I notice people being like, really tense and looking around, it's kind of weird, and she's like, yeah, after you left, I was pretty paranoid still. So, I just can't even think of his off day, but as time went on, I mean, I felt better and whatever. So, I just thought, maybe, I don't know, maybe I just needed, like, coffee or something. Or just, like, I don't know. Just need something. So, they started to go to the Quirk Doctor, and the Quirk Doctor does notice his change. And he's like, oh, interesting. Seems to be your quirk is type of paranoia, per se. Quite interesting. Go on, let's go do some tests. Like, they haven't even sat down. He's like, to set all of this. And it's like, she goes like, okay, I'll continue. And he, like, goes on, does some tests, you know. Takes a bit of their blood, just looks at it to see if it affects his blood or not. He does notice he's does affect a little bit. Cause like it's in his DNA and shit. Should should happen. I believe this should happen. So even his blood, but it lasts. But they're for there for hours, and he notices it lasts for like ten minutes. He can't really tell. Ten to twenty minutes. So it's like interesting, interesting. <laughs> So he goes back to the child, go, goes back to Izuku and Inko, and is like, Yes, your quirk is quite interesting. It's quite nice. It's, it's really good. It's like, not necessarily for hero work, because I know you want to be a hero, but like, it's good if you you know, correctly, and you get it down, and you start controlling, yeah, this could be great, there's one thing I do want to recommend, though, is to get to a type of class for controlling your quirk, because we don't know if long-term results will make it worse, where the person will start, you know, getting tendencies to do stuff, or who knows, physical harm might actually come to you. So we're just gonna, you know, just come here once a week for a checkup. So we can make sure your quirk isn't getting, you know, more dangerous or whatever. You know, so you will be taking quirk control classes starting next month, if that's okay with your mother. And Inko's like, yeah, yeah, that'd be good. We should do that. Any pro anything we can get it like faster, and he's like, we can do it in two weeks in the quick, the fastest, and a month. We have to do a month because by law, with mental quirks, we we're just waiting for the day you know that it'll come up so we know how to do with it. We will be taking some of your some more of your blood, so we can do some tests. And whatnot to fully, you know, test it out and stuff. You know, and Zuku's like, okay, because Zuku does not like shots, but because of immune systems, fucking massive, because he's a child. Child have like I never got sticks. Bullshit. Um, 
you know, after that, they go home. We're gonna do another six month time skip. Zuku has actually got a better control, but you know, control quirk. They're rating one out of ten. One just beginning. Ten being like you have perfect control over your quirk. There's been very few people who have a ten. You know, and him being a prodigy, like usually it takes a lot longer, like a year to you know move up a single level as a child. As an adult, it's a bit easier because you're more cuffed custom to it but he's known to be you know a genius just like in nearly every other field and because of this they also train their body a bit you know you know just just so they just so their bodies are just better and don't get hurt as much and stuff so it's basically a mini hero program but they just want children stay in shape make sure their quirk isn't doing harmful effects and stuff making sure it's okay izuku is actually the only one in his class so he gets one-on-one -on -one mentoring because his mental quirks are very very rare like okay let's say we go to shinsu side or whatever his name is the guy that got the pretty much mind control quirk He's probably, like, the only other child that has a mental quirk in the city that's close enough to UA. You know, that's how rare they are. Like, 9 out of 10 people get a quirk. And out of those people that do get a quirk, 1 in 10,000 get a mental quirk. And, you know... One in a million get a mind control quirk, and one in ten million get like an absolute powerhouse of a mental quirk, where it's like not pretty much affect not affecting reality, but like making illusions and stuff like that. Those are classified as like high level quirks. Azuku's since it doesn't know too much, it is considered one in ten thousand. Because, like, it's new. But not necessarily 1 in 10,000, more than, like, 20,000. Because, like, first off, it's new. There's new quirks every day, pretty much. But, like, this one, there's only been some similar quirks. Like, nightmare quirks that just completely fuck with the mind. Those are the one in, like, 30 million. Because they're so powerful most of the time. That's how rare these quirks are. Now, you might be thinking, that's not that rare compared to everything. Well, since it's so far into the future, 10 billion people live on the planet. You know? And even colonization on other planets. On Mars, people live on Mars, actually. But it's still experimental, and they don't have a necessarily way to go back and stuff. They don't want someone, just a single person, just relying on them for, like, what, 50 years? For their quirk? Yeah, no, they wouldn't do that. But every, like, couple years, they do switch out in rotations. Just make sure everything's safe and stuff. The most powerful hero in the world, actually, has a mental quirk. And his is, like, his is telepathy. He's considered the most powerful hero is because you know he's an assistant type hero because they're different heroes and you know when there's ever a d massive disaster since there's people with fortune telling quirks since telepathy is very advanced you know one like they say one in ten billion but it'd more be like one in a billion just a little unlucky you know get such an advanced type quirk so his quirk actually reaches across the entire solar system pretty well and he just doesn't monitor everything but he does monitor the connection between mars and earth so it's quite good 
So enough of the little lore I liked. I actually just made on the spot. So we're going to continue with the story. Zuku, you know, is great. He's six years old. He started uh, second grade. You know, he's having a great time. You know, he, he, he is kind of feared for his quirk, because his quirk has gotten more powerful to where people f kind of fear the source a little bit. But everyone knows he won't hurt you at all, unless you, you know, do something stupid. The only person that doesn't seem too affected would be Bakugo. But him and Bakugo are, like, really good friends, since they're, like, two strongest in the class. And, you know, Izuku has decided to be... No, like his sidekick, pretty much. You know, so they've had, you know, training. For some reason, Pakugo hasn't got any quirk control classes. So Zuku helps him, you know, in the woods and stuff. You know, since his knowledge is so fast, he's really smart, so he sets up fire safety and stuff. So Pakugo is actually a lot stronger than... He currently would be in the story. He can do, you know, his most powerful explosion be a basic explosion from the story itself. From, like, end, not end of the anime, end of the first season. So, yeah, he's doing great. You know, they're best friends, you know. But Bakugo does somewhat feel like the sidekick for that. But... Izuku does, you know, help comfort his worries by helping him and stuff. So, Izuku goes to his class, goes to kindergarten this day, and, you know, he kind of finds something out about his quirk. He can extend it while in the middle of class. You know, since, he, even if he does have, you know, level 2 control, that's like beginner, beginner. Well, that's like beginner, like straight up. He accidentally spreads it to the entire school, and he starts coughing, like, really badly. Like, till blood comes out, and he kind of passes out. He is, you know, rushed to the hospital, because he's seen a child cough blood is bad. <laughs> so, the quirk doctor comes in, obviously, a bunch of other quirk doctors, and, you know, Bakugo, you know, is sitting outside worrying for him because like they're really good friends and then the one that was training uh him comes up and is like seem and they all kind of just ask what happens and stuff oh let me think and they seem to come to the same conclusion where he can extend his range but it appears to be he coughs, like, really badly. We don't know 100% why he coughs badly. Just, just put it on one of his weaknesses that they have. And this is, like, their first, like, weakness. Like, bad weakness. But it's like not so much as a weakness. They haven't had an absolute weakness, you know. The only like close to absolute weakness would be having a strong will. Or being, you know, kind of like insane. That's just their theory for insane strong will. Well, it's because the one that's teaching class actually has a mental quirk. It's just a bit, you know, easier. And he understands more. His actual... Like, he understands emotions, and because of this, he also feels them. That's his downside, so if he experiences too much emotion, he collapses. Um, she collapses. It's me, a female. Because females already have this power. Um, <laughs> so, Zuku wakes up. You know, his mom's been in, in the room with him. And she's like, what happened? And she's just crying. She al she's also a bit stress eating from this because she has an entire box of donuts by her. Goddamn dogs. Hold on, I'll be back.
sorry about that. Um, mother called me. So let's start. You know, Inko is. I'm keeping that. That guy's funny as fuck for some reason. Um, Inko, you know, has a box of donuts by her. She's like, there's like some other donuts in there that she hasn't eaten yet. Those are actually Zuku's favorites, you know. He really likes, you know, nuts and glaze. He likes blueberry, he likes chocolate, uh, he likes cream filled. I was making a really bad joke there. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I, I like to not have strikes on my YouTube channel, so I'm not making that joke, but you can all imagine what the joke is. Don't ask in the comments, please. I will remove you. Like my father removed his existence from me. Anyways, let's continue. Nart. No. I'm about to kill myself. Oh. <laughs> Izuku, you know, wakes up and is like, oh, hey, mom, what happened? And Inko's like, oh my gosh, you okay? And she starts crying, starts bawling, is like, and she's like, you passed out in coughing blood, were you okay? And he's like, I don't know what happened that much. You know, it's kind of confusing. I'm not sure what happened. And you know, Quirk Doctor comes in, comes in along with his Quirk Teacher. Quirk Teacher's like, it appears that you either maybe increase the range or you increase the power of your quirk we're not 100 percent sure you know hold on i'll be back i think my pizza's done sorry about that my pizza was done i could bear more i care about pizza more than you and my own life sometimes anyways quirk doctor quirk teacher says you either increase the power of your quirk, or you increase the power of your quirk, or you increase the range. We're not 100% sure, or you maybe change something about it. We don't want to try again. We will try again once you reach level 4. At least, should be, you know... shouldn't take you that long maybe three years who knows might even be less who knows quite the genius you pull some miraculous stunts so they continue talking about their quirk asking him what he felt he just felt you know kind of exhausted and like pain he started coughing he felt like kind of drowning he says, not sure. So they kind of write that down. And then, you know, after the conversation done, they continue on with their day, you know. While Izuku being pampered by, you know, his mother. Bakugo's mother. And, you know, Bakugo and, you know, Bakugo's mother actually stay the night just to make sure he's okay and stuff. Bakugo and Izuku had a great, you know, sleepover, pretty much. Inko and... What is that fuck? I don't need to know her goddamn zodiac sign. I need to know her goddamn name. Mitsuki. Bakugo. Basically a female fucking Bakugo. Fucking Bakugo's name is fucking Kotsky. I thought that was his last fucking name. God damn. And <laughs> uh, Mitsuki. Is that what the fuck her name was? I don't fucking. Know. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. And heart does not disappoint me. 
I don't need no fucking royal blood. I don't need no the blood monarch. I'm not reading that right now. Control V, bitch. No, don't, don't. Okay, okay. I thought I fucked up harder than my dad. Um, I really gotta stop making dad jokes at my own expense. Um, you know, they had a great day. Ooh, look at the forecast. Don't give a shit. Um, it was a great day, you know. Bakugo and Izuku go to school. They have a great day. You know, everyone is worried about him. Even if they do fear him, you know, they're worried. Izuku's quirk did get a bit stronger just from that experience and him understanding a bit more. So, you know, we're going to do a large time skip. Um, a year. For a time skip. Jesus Christ. Zuku's seven. He's in third grade. Uh, yeah, third grade. So we're just gonna, you know. Zuku actually did make improvements in his quirk. It is at three. No. He's as strong as a, an adult now. Um, give me like half an hour, you know. He's as strong as an adult, you know. During this year, uh, Izuku and Bakugo became great friends. They have explored each other's quirks, like, a lot. Sounds so much worse than it actually is. Bakugo, you know, actually has ideas for his costume like really good ideas you know they have their own costume ideas and stuff Izuku has like some you know pills in there that help with like mental fatigue and coughing and you know other stuff pain pills too you know different pouches and stuff he actually is pretty tactical, you know, pretty good, it's pretty useful, actually, not that his actual design, no, his actual design, shit, Bakugo is basically the same, but he also got pain pills for his belts and stuff, just in case they needed and stuff, got bandages in each, you know, they have learned about guns, obviously, to Zuku. They have, they have talked about it, you know. You know, this, this is a lot worse conversation than it actually is. If they should get any when they're heroes or not. They decide against it. They decide just for, like, tasers, you know. But Zuku has been taking, you know, martial art classes. That's another problem. He's been taking... The fuck is in Japan? Taekwondo's in Japan, right? No, let's do judo. He's been doing judo, you know. By the way, I know fucking nothing. I don't know this is a fucking style, so shut up. No, 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 no. He's been doing different things, you know. He, he's been doing different martial arts, you know. He's been doing hand-to-hand -hand combat. He's been doing, you know, kwai sticks. Because he, cause he also thinks it's funny, so y'all... Quiet motherfucker <laughs> when he's a hero. Cause it'd be funny. I think it'd be too. So anyways, on this day the school gets fucking raided. Gets raided no I'm kidding. Um school gets raided, you know, I'm not kidding about the raid out I'm kidding about the thing I was about to say. Um you know there's some bank robbers like Five blocks down from a bank. Police station's actually pretty close. You know, police station, they're allowed to use their quirks to help mitigate casualties and stuff. Only deemed necessary, you know. They have less restrictions than normal people because I don't believe in the original story they could have used their quirks. But this is kind of like a different branch of hero work. What's wrong with my finals? I have to slow down some functions. No, everything's doing, like, great. 
Like, like it's just good. It's a good police station. It's better than fucking ours. Oh, it's black. Shoot it faster than my dad. <clears throat> yeah. Anyways. Now it gets raided. These guys actually have guns. They have AKs. They have some carbines, you know. They have some Desert Eagles, because cause who the fuck doesn't want one? Some of them have revolvers, which isn't, isn't a bad choice. It's just, you know, six bullets. It's kind of less than, you know, nine millimeter. Still packs a fucking punch. But, um, some police come. They call they also call the SWAT and stuff. Call the Hero, Hero Agency. You know, SWAT, the SWAT is actually... A bit better than uh, some hero agencies. Actually, most hero agencies. Because they have to go through, like, mental training, combat training. You know, you have to have specific quirks and stuff. You know, they have their own department, kind of. And stuff. And they work with the other hero agencies, intelligent departments and stuff. Like, they're basically a government. The, basically, governments. So they kind of have some, you know, stuff over them. And, like, they're doing good, you know, they kind of have one of the smart people on the field because, you know, there's some, this is, this is school, they don't, they take schools very seriously, take hostage situations very seriously and stuff like that. So, stuff happens, you know, time passes, it's been a couple hours since they've been there and stuff, they decide to raid it now, even if it'd be bad. Some of the raiders are on the second floor. Sorry, no, there's only one floor. They're in kind of like the middle of the building, you know. And, you know, they're actually in Izuku's classroom barricading them up. While there's some doing, like, you know, scouts. They're really organized, like, this is like a villain organization almost. So stuff continues from there. Uh, they're getting even more paranoid. Because, like, they took... the. Because of plot armor, okay, I'll, I'll agree, I'll agree, plot armor. Took Izuku as, you know, main hostage and stuff. But they're getting more and more paranoid. But they haven't started fearing Izuku, because, you know, that would be longer exp exp exposure and stuff like that. You know, since Izuku is just beginning in martial arts... Um, that doesn't make any sense, but it makes sense to me. Anyways. <laughs> oh, thank you, Grammarly. You should actually use, you guys should actually use Grammarly. It's actually really good. Um, so basically, they're starting to get more paranoid and stuff. One of them actually breaks and just starts, you know... Thought I'd hear my fucking cat. You know what my mom did? I'm pissed as fuck right now because my mom threw out my goddamn cat. Like, who the fuck does that? Like, it's so mean. Won't let him inside either. Goddamn. The inside cat became an outside cat. Goddamn. Pissed me off. Um, <laughs> if I stop, like, talking, is either I'm thinking or I hear my fucking cat. Um, since Azuku was just beginning martial arts, you know. Barely even started, you know. It has been a year, so he's decent. He's like, yellow belt, I believe. That's second rank. Because you start with, like, what, a brown belt? Base. Okay, I just, okay. This is how shit's gonna work. It's gonna be brown, yellow, purple, pink, red. Ah, uh, blue, then black. Okay. Anyways. No, white belt is starting. Okay, yeah, white belt is first. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. I'm too lazy to think of belts right now. Anyways. They start getting... Uh, one of them snaps and starts just not shooting at people, but just making, you know, noises and stuff. So the SWAT start hurrying. They've actually found the classroom just because of that. Nearly everyone's evacuated. They started in, like, two entrances, front and back, so they can't leave. There are multiple entrances, but there are, people were staked out. 
and stuff. All Might doesn't come because it's like a confined space and you don't want to hurt the children. It's a hostage situation. All Might ain't too good with hostage situations. But he does stop by to make sure everything's okay. Wonder if he could help. And, you know, one of the smart people was like, mm, you can't really. But if you want, you can stay here for a fear factor or you can continue, you know, walking, doing other things. It could be possible if you could, like, check the area for some crimes, you know, make sure, you know, surrounding area is good. And report back if you found, like, a better space or whatever. It's like, sure. So he does, like, a lap and stuff, you know, it doesn't take him that long. But while inside the building, while All Might's, you know, doing laps, checking for crimes and stuff, he does stop a few crimes. Here and there, they're just petty crimes, nothing too important. But just bring up the morale and, you know, superiority of the heroes. Oh, sorry, reputation of the heroes. So, everything continues going well, actually. Everyone's evacuated besides, you know, center of the school a bit. So, they decide to go in a full-on sweep from all four sides. And, you know, checking everything again. Some actually go through the ceiling. Check around it, stay away from the middle so they don't make too much noise. Then they get, you know, actual cloakers, like from Payday 2, but like. They're people that are, like, good at making. not good at being silent and stuff and sneaking around. So they also come in, they're, you know, they're doing, like, a full on search, pretty much. It's, like, doing. it's doing actually pretty well. They actually find everyone's located. They do take out the ones in the surrounding rooms, you know, because they found out that. Other rooms are more concentrated. They take out the less concentrated ones quickly. And they start, you know, moving on to uh, more concentrated rooms. So, yeah. While this is going on, this took like maybe an hour to do all those rooms. Getting people, you know, some, you know, of the stealth people are actually... Hot spotted in rooms, just staying there, you know, making up a small base of operations just to help and stuff. So, while they're in there, All Might hasn't found anyone. They came, He came back and was like, I stopped the crowning crime and stuff, but I didn't find any better places than maybe what you guys could think. I didn't find any empty buildings. I did, I did spot a drug operation. I didn't take care of it myself. But, uh... I'll just tell you where it is right now. He says, he points to a massive warehouse and is like, that's where it is. In case that's like some weird government shit, you know, because he knows the government does weird shit in empty warehouses. The only reason he knows it could possibly be a drug operation is because, you know, he's hero. he's been heroes for years. You can kind of, you know, he kind of tells the difference between try drugs. He does smell a drug smells druggy. Can't really understand which one though, but he the reason I and since he's more experienced with the like, you know, cocaine and shit like that, he might just think it's a government operation. So he tells him that he's like Yeah, we will actually check off we we'll check on that after this, after everything's searched. Thanks for the information. And he says no problem. He just goes around the city, actually. So he just does, you know, stuff. Every, like... No, he doesn't ever... He doesn't check back in because, you know, time limit. All my time limit right now is actually, I believe, 15 hours. If it's if it's more than 15 hours, it's 15 hours. If it's less than 15 hours, it's 15 hours. Okay, I'm not changing. So, yeah. He does actually every, like, three hours, you know, check in. When he can... So, yeah, that goes on inside the building while this is all happening and stuff. People are starting, they're getting more and more paranoid, and some of them just start leaving and stuff. Like, leaving the classroom and checking the areas. They haven't come back. Um, they're getting more and more paranoid as time goes on. And, because Izuku's emotions are, like, kind of out of place, you know? And quirks are affected by emotions and stuff. There have been people that are like, that try to, you know, be a hero, to instantly get shot in the fucking legs, but they do get patched up, you know, 
because they're smart enough not to kill their hostages and leave them to bleed out. So no one, after like the first one, no one did anything for a long while. So yeah, everything continues, you know, one of the people get, you know, kind of crazy and, you know, takes Exuku and starts leaving, you know, the classroom. The guy has a, a gun to him and starts, like, trying to leave the building. He does get to the doors, he does leave, and he's like, Barrel, let me leave before I shoot them. Barrel, let me leave. Hizuku is just scared, like, he doesn't know what to do. His mind is kind of just shutting down. And, you know, since, since there's a smart person on them and is like, good at like, detecting emotion, just basically body language stuff, something Izuku is actually very good at right now. Notice him just shutting down, and then after a while, they take um, one of the you know expert snipers because I wouldn't doubt there'd be expert snipers, and just shoots him. The guy just shoots the other guy, and since bullets travel so fast, he didn't react. This guy only had like what would he have? An endurance, not endurance. Sorry, uh, hardening, hardening quirk. It's decently trained, you know. They could, the guys kind of notice this because his skin does become a bit blocky and become noticeably different than other people's. So they expected his skin to be like extra hard. So like using armor piercing round. So yeah, they use armor piercing round goes straight through his cranium. And since they're aiming actually really down low, it actually gets embedded into the concrete. There have been ones that, like, specialize for these type of grounds. They're more focused... The intelligent people are more focused on, like, uh, making technology for safer environments and stuff like that. So, like, yeah. It's actually a fan favorite in uh, America, because why wouldn't it be? Americans have been trying to, like, get other heroes from other places that are like really good with guns it's like their thing like everyone knows they're obsessed with guns like every government knows they're obsessed with guns it's like because they don't know raid america it's not that they have better quirks it's just because of the environment and you know america being you know america being extremely discrim discriminative against fucking other people for some weird fucking reason um the quirk their overall population is like 95% have quirks. So like, yeah, that's great. America's very big. That's why we don't leave our country. It's like five countries in one, I think, someone said. So yeah, you should guys like look up how big America is compared to like other places. Texas, our Texas is bigger, as big as Europe. So it's like, yeah, it's kind of scary. Um, so I think, yeah, okay. So after that, Izuku just kind of shuts down because the person was near, killed near him. So we, that's kind of like trauma. And they take him, you know, kind of hear him, heal him and stuff. People have been really paranoid around him. They do have files on everyone. And the guy recognizes as the, you know, mental quirk kid. Because, like, everyone's, like, you know, newest mental quirks and stuff. Like... Tells everyone to be careful with him and stuff. Don't make him too agitated. We're not sure how his quirk works. While it has, you know, made grounds and stuff. He has been known to be slightly... Un his quirk has been known to be slightly more powerful. When he's, like, unstable and stuff. Like, not slightly, more, like, twice as powerful. And people have been trying to go, like, basically insane. Almost mind-breaking. <laughs> At least that's their theory. You know, they'd probably go mind-breaking because of how powerful his quirk would be. If you think this is too powerful, I mean, like, I don't think it is. I mean, obviously not. So, yeah, in the classroom, Bakugo is very scared for his friend. But he doesn't try to do anything because he doesn't want to get shot. But as they're thinking this, 
10 minutes later, everyone breaks in, you know, from the ceilings and shit, through actually the walls too, after getting like some, you know, guys that have like heat vision, like a snake's. And the other guys, you know, creeping in, getting some cameras in there. I mean, choosing some walls that don't have too many people in them. So, yeah, that goes on. Everyone is rescued and stuff. Uh, Bakugo starts getting worried for uh, Izuku, and he starts asking for him. And no one knows who Izuku is. But, like, they kind of take a guess. It's like, is that the kid that just got, like, basically dragged out, like, ten minutes ago? And he's like, yeah, yeah. So they take him to Izuku, and, you know, Izuku is passed out, and he's kind of worried, so checks on him and stuff. His mom has been called and stuff, but that's going to be wrap up of that. Not for the video, by the way. Actually, yeah, that's going to be wrapped up with the video. It's been, you know, an hour. Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. You know, nice cliffhanger. So, not really a cliffhanger, but, you know. But anyways, if you're wondering why I had... Uh, Naruto picture. I just I was too lazy to do something else, and I wanted something. Keep your guys' eyes good. So I hope you guys have a great day. I mean, I might, I might make a video tomorrow since I don't have school tomorrow. You guys do good. You know, be safe. You know, don't get killed because like that that's bad for you. It's bad for your health. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.